Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this presentation about the post-16 maths options at St. Bede Sixth Form Arete. Absolutely delighted that you can join us here virtually, even though, unfortunately, you've not been able to join us in person. So what are the options here at St. Bede's? We offer A-level maths, A-level further maths, and level three maths studies. I'm going to take the time to talk you through those courses a little bit now. So Math Studies is a level three qualification. That means it's a, a qualification of a higher level than GCSE. Um, and actually our Math Studies course is equivalent to an AS. It focuses on the application of maths. So it's really about maths as a tool rather than about studying maths for maths sake. And we find that students really, really value studying Math Studies alongside other subjects that involve maths. The content of Math Studies looks at finance, statistics and probability, critical analysis, modelling and estimation. And students really do find that it supports their learning across their curriculum, particularly where they are studying subjects that have a, a, a large amount of maths. A-level maths is an extension of the GCSE. It focuses on pure mathematics for two thirds of the course and then applied mathematics in statistics and mechanics in the remaining third. Pure mathematics is really all about algebra uh, and extending the algebra that was done at GCSE, extending understanding of trigonometry, extending understanding of vectors, exploring calculus for the first time. Statistics is about looking at data and both drawing conclusions from that data about maybe something that has happened and also then starting to form predictions about what may happen in the future. And mechanics is the real uh, modelling of the real world around us um, and what might happen to objects, say, when forces are acting upon them, how they might move and how they might accelerate. Further maths is uh, a second A-level that is an option for students to study here at Arete. Um, half of that course is pure maths and half of it is actually uh, optional units. So um, there's lots of different units that could be studied, either more pure maths, some statistics and mechanics or decision maths. Um, and we will decide which of those units students study, uh, both in collaboration with them uh, and also based on the, the kind of strength of the teaching staff that are delivering that course as well. Uh, typically, that would be a unit in mechanics and a unit in decision maths. Um, and we choose those because the mechanics tends to support students who are going on to perhaps study engineering at university or are studying physics A level. And decision is a new branch of mathematics that students won't meet uh, unless they study it as that optional unit in uh, further maths. Now, studying maths uh, in the sixth form complements subjects across um, our other subject choices, business studies, economics, physics, chemistry, sociology, psychology. All these courses feature uh, maths to a greater or lesser degree. Uh, here's a list of uh, some of the kind of uh, amounts of these uh, courses that contain maths. Some of them it's really kind of written in black and white that 20% of the economics course is maths, um, whereas for others it's, it's slightly less um, well prescribed. But nonetheless, math skills are, are really, really useful. Think about geography, it's the, the statistical skills really that will be uh, of benefit there. Maths is, I'm delighted to say, the most popular A-level subject across the country by some distance. You can see there at the top, uh, almost 95,000 students took maths A-level last year. Um, and further maths is kind of mid-table. You can see it uh, highlighted in red. And I've added on core maths, which is our uh, math studies course. Um, and that's uh, kind of just below the entries for, for further maths in there as well. So a really, really popular subject nationally. Up and down the country, students just like you are deciding that maths is the course for them. Uh, and here at, at Arete, students uh, study maths in, in good numbers too. A huge amount of career opportunities are available for students that choose to study maths at Arete. Uh, some of them are displayed there in that uh, word cloud. I'm not going to kind of take you through each of them. There is a real demand for students with STEM skills to enter the workforce, both in uh, technology, engineering, science, new kind of uh, job roles being created in terms of data science and, and working with big data. Um, but also perhaps in, in slightly less obvious applications such as psychology and law, um, political science. 
it really would be an asset for any student entering the workforce to have studied maths up to the age of 18. So here are the three options for our uh, courses, as I've said, um, math studies, A-level maths and further maths. Math studies is really ideal for any student who wants to continue studying maths um, but doesn't want to study the full A-level. We require a grade four at GCSE for students uh, to begin this course. Um, and it's really recommended for those people that are studying subjects with mathematical content in their other A-levels. It's also recommended for those that are intending to study a subject related to maths as a degree, such as psychology, geography, sports science, or business. A-level maths uh, extends the GCSE and we require a grade seven at GCSE for students wishing to study A-level maths. And this really is for anybody who has enjoyed mathematics in their school career up to this point and who enjoys the challenge of maths and wants to take that further. It is required for degrees such as maths, engineering, physics and economics um, and recommended for others including medicine, chemistry, biology and computer science. Further maths extends the A-level and adds additional breadth and depth and we require a grade 8 at GCSE for students to study further maths with us. This is for anybody who really really enjoys maths, has strong foundations at GCSE and is really looking for that additional challenge uh, in their workload. We recommend that students study further maths as a fourth subject because studying maths, further maths and just one other would give them quite a narrow focus in their A-level study. It's not required, but it is strongly recommended for uh, degrees such as maths and engineering. I thought it'd be useful for you to hear from some of our students about what they say they enjoy about our courses. I choose A-level maths because I enjoy doing it at GCSE. I wasn't sure what to apply for for university and so choosing maths meant that I could keep my options open. I also took biology and chemistry and the concepts that were taught in maths were sometimes involved in those subjects as well so I felt a bit more comfortable approaching them. The way that they teach maths in A-level is that they teach the content in class and you might start the exercise and then you go home and you finish it off and you practice that topic. I definitely recommend maths as it is a little bit challenging but if you do work hard then you will do well. I chose A-level maths because I really enjoyed the subject at GCSE and because I enjoy problem solving and application to real life situations. The A-level course covers a broad range of topics from maths and most of the topics build upon knowledge from GCSE with application to real life situations. A-level maths has helped me in my other science subjects as maths skills are involved in those subjects. We are taught methods of how to approach questions in each topic and complete the exercises at home. We are given a topic assessment to test our understanding. If you enjoy maths and problem solving, as well as are considering taking a science A-level, I would recommend taking A-level maths. I think A-level further maths is a great choice at A-level because it will help you in your first year of uni if you're applying to engineering, physics, maths or any other courses that require these sort of skills and they will make other subjects brilliant. I think A-level further maths is really good because it helps create a good understanding for maths and physics. And A-level further maths is really enjoyable and interesting if you uh, really enjoy challenge and... I hope that's answered any questions that you might have had about studying maths in the sixth form at St Bede's. Um, I hope it's got you excited about the prospect of maybe studying maths with us. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and look forward to seeing you soon.